You may have noticed that filling a shape drawn with a vector texture brush leads to undesirable results. So I'll grab a brush that has some texture in it and I'll draw a shape here. And then I'll use my paint bucket and I'll paint bucket and you can see that it's not really filling properly. It's going kind of right up to the edge here leaving a odd space and this is because the fill is actually going to the set the contours that are defining the edges of our brush stroke if I was to, to just grab that fill and move it out of the way and then using our contour editor you'll see that there is a vector line two of them defining our brush stroke and this is what's giving us a bit of a soft edge to our texture so the fill is going right up to the edge of this contour line. There is a way of dealing with this. So first let's just delete that and using our selection tool, we'll select our circle and up in our camera view, you will find an icon that looks like a white line with three arrows pointing down to a blue line. If you hover, it says create color art from line art click that and what Harmony is doing is looking at our brush stroke, finding the center of it and putting down a vector line on our color art layer. You'll see the blue line has just appeared. Now with our paint bucket we can paint, jump back up to our line art and we have a pretty good result. Another way of dealing with this is using our brush and there's an option here that says automatically create color art. So as we draw Harmony will automatically put down the vector line for us on the color art layer. Mine was already clicked on. We can click it, make sure it's on for you. Draw our line, make sure we connect. Jump down to our color art, use our paint bucket and away we go. So here's the cleanup of our girl character uh, using our vector texture brush that has a bit of a gritty quality to it and it's the same concept as I was just showing before that if I was to paint bucket her boot because it is a texture vector brush ugh, it's not a very good result you can see there's a lot of a lot of white anti-aliasing going on there and it's just not desirable so what we can do is we can like our previous example, we could select, I'll show you two ways. Here's the hard way. We can select her and then we can hit our create color art from line art. If we would go down to our color art layer, there she is. There's our, there's all the vectors ready for us. Or let's delete that. Let's just get rid of that. Goodbye. Or what we could do is we can kind of automate the process. Let's just zoom out so you have a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. I'll go to drawing number one. And I'll go to my selection tool and if I go over to the tool properties you'll see what looks like three pieces of paper with a little arrow pointing down it's apply to multiple drawings so that means when I click that whatever I do next Harmony will apply to every drawing within our layer here and now without making any selections I will click on our create color art from line art and give it a hot second as it thinks Okay, and what Harmony has just done is if I was to jump down to my color art layer, you can see that Harmony has now created color art from line art from all of, to all of our drawings simply by clicking you apply using apply to multiple drawings with our create color art from line art. And now it's ready to paint.